right guys to give something back to this community you only have to subscribe to this channel and like in order to win this shirt see you guys in the video enjoy embarrassing Since I was a kid, all I was told that in England and the Premier League the best atmosphere exists. I went now a couple of times and I can say it blew my mind. And not in a way you can think of. They are famous for their pubs, pies, chants, chips and drinks. What? Like loads of drinks. But are they famous for their atmosphere? According to loads of you, yes. The other day I was calling through my Twitter timeline and I saw this video. English fans screaming what the fuck is that at one of the most beautiful atmospheres in Europe. And to top it off, if you search on google the following this is your answer in my opinion it really couldn't be further from the truth i have been already to over 10 clubs in the uk at champions europe and premier league matches and it was most of the time simply embarrassing oh my god i'm gonna get so much hate for this well, I'm just being honest. I literally can't believe or see what's so special about it. Except the fact that there are loads of monies involved and the limbs. I have to give that. Most of the club's <laughs> leads are king of the celebrations. But on other parts, they don't even know Curios or Pyros. But are every time stunned when European opponents bring them in the away block. And can only reply with... Well, it's decent support. One of my best mates has never been to England. And when I asked him where the best fan bases are, his reply was... England. Premier League, right? Well, it's time to show him. Let's go to Manchester. That was Manchester. If you go to England and go to a big city, always go to pubs. It's so nice there. It's really authentic and the beers are the best. So, did you enjoy Manchester? You have to say that you really enjoyed it. Yeah, I really did. Now it's time to go to the stadium and enjoy the football Champions League quarterfinals. City against Bayern. There is no one here. Right, now it's another place, but also here it's like really silent. It just doesn't really feel like there's a Champions League quarterfinals. I mean, there's really loud music, but... Not really an atmosphere or song. We have found some fans. Let's see if they are able to create an atmosphere that is part of a Champions League quarter final. There are literally more phones than players at the moment. They are trying at least. It's so different compared to this. They are naming names now, but no one is really clapping or cheering. Sergio Gomez! Sergio Gomez! Okay, let's check out the atmosphere inside the city against Bayern. And of course, a big shout out to Ground Up Ticket for sorting us out today. You can check them out in the link in the description. They sort you out for all European matches. There are the city players and the noise from the fire fans. <laughs> This guy's here for it. <laughs> Gotta say, see if this could be more dangerous here, but the buyer fans are taking over the F here. <laughs> what a big chance for City here, still nil nil. Oh 
my god! <laughs> what a strike! To all fire friends, they are still active. And that's half time. Here we go, second half. are not happy here. why people go home when they're 3-0 winning. It's already really empty. No one is following them. <laughs> and that's full time! Right guys, that was the end of the Champions League quarterfinal City against Bayern 3-0. It was amazing. That's what it's all about. Thank you guys so much for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next one.